Everybody else is the same shit that I do. Yeah. So it's like playing catch up almost at this point. Yeah. I feel like so many people got overshadowed last yeah. year. Like yeah. they didn't have their full shine, drop something, and then we forgot about it the next week and somebody else dropped. Drop. Yeah. Who would say those that artist that was forgotten? <laughs> so much drop. <laughs> <laughs> Just name anybody. Everybody dropped something last year. Yeah. I mean, I think <laughs> at the end of the year, twenty. No oh, name, yeah. yeah no name, name. Yeah, I was definitely open that up. And she did a, a, an amazing Tiny Desk concert. Yeah. 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 I still go back and watch that now and I'm like, for sure. Mm. <laughs> so I can't even think of one off the top of my head. But, and like I said before, like it just takes me a while to sit down and like fully listen to an album. So if so many are coming out, like I feel like I skipped over so many. Yeah. yeah. Um, I definitely feel like I'm playing catch up. And I'm going to actually take, uh, that's Alan over there. So I'm going to take his answer because we were talking about this earlier, about like 2018 releases versus like 2019. And um, something that he said that like stuck with me is that in 2019, we had more time to um, get to know the artists that we're listening to. Like, okay, I like this now, so I'm going to follow them. And because it wasn't so much being released this year, it was like, I'm gonna always be on top of this stuff. Like I'm gonna look for those interviews and follow their Instagram pages and stuff like that. Like I'm gonna know your music when it comes out. Versus 2018 when like we said it was so oversaturated. It was like oh yeah that was a bop, but then you forget. Mm -hmm. Like T Pain, I did not know his stuff came out 2019. I thought it was actually 2018, but it kind of got overshadowed with the other bops that hit this year. Yeah. And so I had to go back like oh snap he released one up. Let me go put that on my list. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> next year, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna go saturated again? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a, another slow year. Oh, no. right. See, I don't know. Right. Like, it's rather like even listen to a full artist album. Mm -hmm. Like uh, that might be bad for me to say, but like. I like this constantly, just new music dropping. So what I do is whenever the album drops, I wait two weeks mm -hmm. and I see what songs got stars next to yep. it. Nice. So I download those yeah. first and listen to those first so I can play them during my set. And then if I like those songs, then I'll take the free time to listen to it. Or I'll wait and see like what people that I work with are doing. I work with such a younger population, like they know what's hot and what's not. So if I hear them talking about an album, then I know it must slap. If they're just talking about a song or two, the album really wasn't worth the listen. Because they have more time than I do. They ain't doing shit. You know, they go to school, they get out, they, that's it. They probably do their homework. Like, they got more time than I do. Um, so yeah, I don't even know what 2020 is going to bring. I know Rihanna needs to drop this shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's, it. I, yeah. that's it. I feel like, I feel like since bigger artists like Rihanna were so quiet lately, that they might just try to like go all out all 2020 right. and just dominate over everybody else. So we might have a year of saturation again where it's just everybody's getting overshadowed. Or people might just realize, this is not my time to drop something. Like, if Rihanna drops something on a Monday, so, you drop your shit on Wednesday, yeah. you're done. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't drop your shit to damn near the last day of the year, because no one's going to hear what you did because Rihanna drops something. Yeah. So, yeah. I think. Okay. Sorry. I no, you're good. You're good. Something that I didn't put on these questions surprise drops. I'm not a fan of 
But like everybody's surprise drops now. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that? I feel like a surprise can only work if if you have a heavy following. Yeah, I yeah, have a heavy following. Like, like, yeah, if you don't have a heavy following and you drop something, no one's gonna notice really. Right. And like, you'll notice it really slow so you don't get a big reaction. Right. right. So like, yeah. for example, like when Beyonce did it, it's Beyonce. It's right. like, oh, she, she just said she just dropped the album. Yeah. Red Fire has dropped his album, it's real quiet. And it was yeah. like, I was late to find one of them. One of my friends played a song. And I was like, when this dropped? It was like three months ago. I was like, oh shit. It's a surprise drop. Right. Oh. But it is hard, even if you do like promote it or whatever beforehand, this social media algorithm just throws everything off. So you don't really yeah. see anything sometimes. I'm like, you have you, you that? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, good job. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. it works well for certain artists, yeah. but you have to be at a certain caliber to like, for sure. yeah, people yeah. pay attention. Yeah, or quietly build it up, like you're putting out little songs and videos to kind of like foreshadow that it's gonna come out. Yeah. But what yeah. are your teasers? Teaser. Like Kehlani is the queen of teasers right now. Just on yeah. Twitter, just teasing the sample. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like it's the chorus. People are hooked on it. Like, now they're waiting for you to drop their check yeah. and every day to see when you're gonna release or it. Or Instagram Live. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Miss yeah. Kelly did the same thing. Um, yeah, she did her little EP project too. Yeah. She was like writing in her journals and stuff, and people were like, oh, this is cute. And then she's like, started singing these songs, you like, hold on, Miss Yelly don't sing. <laughs> right. And so I think she just dropped it in the EP, and it's like, go crazy. Yeah, it was so short. It was so short. It was like, 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 it gave me something at least. Like, I'm still waiting on people to take Okay, I'm still keeping that hope alive. I'm going to keep waiting. But, nope. <laughs> 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 I'm going to keep waiting. Right. You keep on waiting. Don't hold your breath. That sounds like jazz. Her, 
I'm overrated. Are we doing overrated and underrated? Or yeah. Okay. Snow Leopard. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, for a project. For overrated. 